Today on Local Connection, we are getting rejuvenated. Join us as we center ourselves and find balance. On today's show... <sighs> relaxation to the max. We kick back at the Calixica Holistic Spa Boutique on Granville Island. Also... H -A. Karate in the cold. Staying in shape on the beach isn't just a summer thing. And... What inspires me to be a student reporter? News anchor for a day. 30 students tell their stories their way. I'm really, really interested in journalism as a career. See all this and more right now on Local Connection. Welcome to Local Connection, a show about the people and places that make the Lower Mainland such a great place to live. Hi, I'm Darren Storsley. And I'm Stephanie Weeb. We're here relaxing at Calixica Holistic Spa Boutique in Granville Island. Up next, we'll start with a fabulous welcome ritual that includes roses, tea, and a nice hand massage. Ooh, can't wait. But first, we've got to check in with our buddy Skylar, who right now is on the frigid waters of English Bay. That sounds freezing. Better him than us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll stay warm. Uh Everyone who would have liked to do karate on the beach? Well, rain or shine, these skilled group of martial artists make it an annual tradition. The BC Shitoru Sikokai Karate Association marks their 42nd annual winter beach practice on a brisk January Saturday at English Bay. This is a traditional practice for the group that embodies the spirit and techniques of their teachings. Okay, well the uh, practice starts out with uh, meditation at the beginning and we end that way too. Um, just a bit uh, to relax and uh, get our mind together and concentrate and focus and then we start the practice. Uh, we don't usually run in the dojo, but when we're at the beach, we go for a run and uh, to warm up a bit and loosen up. And then we do some uh, stretching and uh, exercises to warm up. The practice is guided under the instruction of Master Akira Sato. Mr. Sato has been involved with Canadian karate for over 40 years and brings traditional Japanese techniques to earn his rank as Black Belt Master. The annual winter beach practice keeps them in top shape and full of energy. I'm uh, 68, but uh, no sickness at all. So I don't need a doctor. <laughs> How long has this been around for? This is the 42nd year? Uh, yes, we have done 41 times. Snow or a rain or a stormy day. What would a karate practice on the beach be without a dip in the water? Well, these brave martial artists fully embrace the strength it takes to be a full-fledged black belt master by getting a little wet. I, I would say it's a little bit warmer, actually. It's, uh, the secret is the water's probably a little bit warmer. At the end, I, feet get a little frozen. Sensei Murphy has been a long time. He's a... Was it cold? It wasn't too bad. It's, uh, I've had colder. <laughs> and uh, actually, it's been a nice day today, really. We've had days with uh, eight inches of snow on the ground and a bare feet. That's uh, pretty tough, but today was uh, not too bad. Uh, you know, we have a lot of challenges throughout the year, and uh, if you take on a good challenge at the very beginning, it makes all the other challenges in the year much easier to handle. For more information, you can check out their website at shitoru.net. At English Bay, this is Skylar Bear for a local connection. Thanks, Skylar, and although I love my outdoor play, I can't think of a better place to play indoors to get all warm, cozy, and just to relax. Yes, right now we're in the perfect place to relax. We're at the Calixica Holistic Spa Boutique in Granville Island. Right now we're being joined by visionary director Renata Geyer. Can you tell us what can visitors expect when they walk into Calixica? 
Certainly, Stephanie. The moment they enter the door, we welcome them to take a seat and receive our uh, Rose Bliss Namaste welcome. And that begins with a warm hot towel treatment um, on the hands. We then move to um, relaxing the head and scalp with our uh, wonderful Rose Bliss essence, applying essential oils, doing a deep relaxation head massage so that that starts to quiet the mind. And then we continue with neck and shoulder massage so that just a few minutes so that it um, gives them an opportunity to decompress, take a breath, and just really fully arrive here at Calixica. Why is it important to work with the hands? Well, one of the things that we found, Stephanie, is with just the amount that people are working on their computers, their iPads, their phones, is that we carry so much tension. And um, in order to really um, have the gift of receiving and the gift of giving is we open the channels and the meridians in the hands. So we relax the shoulders and then bring the tensions down and out through the hands. And so it's a wonderful way to, to really let go by relaxing the hands. It can often relax the whole body. We are really honor the word holistic uh, from every aspect. So we have a, actually within our business model, we actually work with a holistic operational model, which uh, really attends to the whole. So we look at things as a whole, as opposed to the separate parts. And the same with um, individuals that come into Calixica for a spa experience. We like to honor their physical body, um, their energy around them, their emotional body at every level because we're we're much more than just our physical body. Wow, Darren, it's amazing how much tension we carry in our neck and shoulders. Mm, I know, and I am feeling so relaxed right now. I think the only thing missing is maybe a little music. We'll ask and you shall receive. Up next, we head over to SFU Burnaby, where we'll hear some local music from the Melodies in Mind radio show. Up at SFU, you can hear that something special is going on. Melodies of Mind is um, it's a radio program that's built to promote uh, local music and to give people in the, the radio listening audience a chance to hear people that are really great musicians that they've never heard before. Uh, so the first hour is three interviews, one with each guest, 20 minutes. I send it out to other stations. I got nine other stations that are airing the program across the country. And the second hour is a song circle. They take turn, turns playing songs. It's sort of like a campfire kind of thing. This radio show offers a venue for local talent to meet, collaborate, and create an artistic community. So this is a, a really great networking experience. You can get your music out there, promote it. Yeah, exactly. And I can steal artists to come play at my night of music that I book for every week. <laughs> One of the cool things about this sort of format of show is that you can present original songs with a little bit of uh, info about them, almost like uh, a live performance. So yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to that aspect of it. Well, I set out straight from Melodies in Mind allows working artists a broad platform to express themselves. Our music is like a really important thing to us and I think to the people in our community, but it's not necessarily something that is always we have the time to pursue fully, right? Yes. And so something that we play and like take any venue that we're able to get that's like a supportive venue and especially in a place like this. I want to encourage people to come and go to local shows and take a chance and see someone that you haven't heard of before because we have really great talent here so that's a lot of what has inspired what I'm doing because I just feel very passionate about that. On location at SFU's Campus Radio, CJSF 90.1 FM. I'm Marnie Maines for Local Connection. You tossed out every light to pure speculation. You left us 
Thanks, Marnie. You know, it's great to see the amazing talent we have right here in the Lower Mainland. Absolutely, and to tell us about the amazing talent right here in front of us right now, we're joined by Tia, who is the spa director, and maybe you can tell us what we're seeing right now. Um, Darren, you're witnessing uh, a treatment of on the chair. It's called our 30-minute chair massage, and our practitioner, Ruth, is using a combination of techniques um, that involve muscle compressions along the spine to help release that, acupressure points, which you're uh, seeing currently right now, and also um, we'll be doing a little bit of work along the um, shoulder blades here just to help release some of that everyday tension that you find um, happening in our very busy lives. So. Now you said it's a 30 minute procedure. What are some creative ways to wake people up at the end? Well, what happens is um, usually we allow them a little bit of grounding. We get them off the chair and back into our reception area and um, you'll be experiencing that at the end of the show in terms of uh, what you, our integration process is. Well, Tia, that looks so amazing and definitely relaxing, and I wish I had the chance to know exactly what that feels like. Well, you might get your wish soon, because coming up next, we will see you experience the Rose Bliss Balancing Chakra Massage. So exciting. Also after the break, the transformation of downtown Surrey, dramatic architecture and community gathering. And I never had a sister growing up. Sisters from another mother. She was always there through anything that was happening in my life, you know, starting middle school, starting high school, starting college. Enhancing the confidence and self-esteem of our girls. Local Connection will be right back. Today's generation of young people spend the least amount of time outside of any generation in human history. We need to have children out, we need to have people out in order to see the world around that allows us to live. I think something like the Sea to Sky Trail is the epitome of what we need to get people back out into the real world, to see nature as it can be, and something that we are a part of and that we must fight to protect. Welcome back to Local Connection. We're here at Calixica Holistic Spa Boutique in Granville Island, and it's safe to say that right now my co-host is feeling pretty amazing. Yeah, and Steph, you know I love you, but I am not trading places with you right now. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't want to trade with me either. <laughs> right now he's receiving a special treatment, and here to tell us more about that special treatment is Tia Haas, spa director. Excellent. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, yes, what uh, Darren is um, experiencing is a special treatment. It's called the Rose Bliss Chakra Balancing Massage. What Ruth is doing right now is actually applying the gemstone oils mm. that are in sync with the actual gemstone um, pieces that she uses for the massage. What kind of gemstones are they? So we have four different types of gemstones and there's a pair of each of them so that the practitioner can actually use them simultaneously. So this is our amethyst stones, um, this is our rose quartz stone, our carnelian stone, and this is our garnet stone. They're finished on one side to apply to the actual body, so oh, they're okay. nice and smooth. But mm -hmm. it, we do warm them up in a special way. They're all made of uh, quartz, so they have to be warmed over several hours to maintain their heat. And what Ruth is trying to achieve with this treatment is to provide um, Darren's chakras a little bit more harmony. So the vibration that happens with the gemstone and the oils work in sync to really get the chakras um, spinning in a certain direction that provides more of an actual um, harmonious feeling for Darren. Thanks Ruth, that was amazing. I feel powered and ready to take on the world. And thank you so much Tia for that amazing explanation. You know up next we're going to meet a young woman who also felt confident and inspired as a part of the Big Sisters of BC program. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Canada is an organization in which volunteers can offer a sibling-like relationship to help raise confidence and self-esteem in a child or youth. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Canada is an umbrella organization for all of the 124 Big Brother and Big Sister agencies across Canada. So they, um, they provide us with national standards to help us run our mentoring programs. 
Many of the little sisters involved in the program suffer from low self-esteem issues. When they enter the program, they are less likely to resort to drugs and alcohol and violence is greatly reduced. The mentoring programs allow the girls to benefit in many other areas as well, such as in the Study Buddy program. The Study Buddy program is a, is a program that we've had for about 10 years now. And it, uh, it's great because it's a little bit less of a time commitment and it provides a lot more structure around the mentoring relationship, which, is, which some people really like. Other people don't like the, the, the free and easy part of the Big Sisters mentoring program. And other people want a little bit more structure about what they do every week. So the Study Buddy program is just one hour a week. After meeting Lisa, I met with Shelly and her little sister Heidi. After 11 years of their initial match in 2001 through Big Sisters of BC Lower Mainland, they still hold a very strong friendship. It's been, it's been amazing, a fantastic experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned a tremendous amount from Heidi. Mm -hmm. She's been a wonderful sister and a wonderful friend. And the association with, with Big Sisters has been nothing but positive. The growth it's brought me has been the biggest thing and the, the lifelong friend that's brought me as well. And, you know, I never had a sister growing up, so, you know, neither did Shelly, so it's, that's huge. We, we became sisters from this as well over 10 years. Before arriving for the interview, Shelly had put together a photo album of 11 years worth of memories for Heidi to see for the first time. And this was, she was 10 here too. This is... I mean, it was for me, it was the first time I saw this. Shelly put this together and found everything. Um, but it was just like a big rush of memories. And I mean, I had a huge smile on my face looking at it all. And yeah, it just made me really reflect on an amazing friend and my sister and the times we spent together. So it was it's amazing. So, it's so great to be able to go back and pinpoint that moment in time yeah. and remember. Like we were talking about trying to teach you how to dive off a yeah. diving board, you know, and you just kept, you kept trying and trying and trying. <laughs> Our first outing, we went bowling, mm -hmm. and I remember distinctly because Heidi held my hand when we crossed the street. <laughs> I remember that too. <laughs> she doesn't hold my hand anymore when we cross the street. And as she got older, we did different things. We well, we we saw a lot of movies. Oh, definitely. We did a lot of baking. Yes. Um, beading. We always yeah. liked, enjoyed beading. Lots of crafts. Mm -hmm. Now we do more of like we'll pick a restaurant or something. You know, I've had another adult to talk to all through when I was growing up. You know, I was, I was only 10 years old when Shelly and I met, so I had someone I could ask for advice for, I could share my experiences with, and she was always there through anything that was happening in my life, you know, starting middle school, starting high school, starting college. So after all these years, do you feel like we're all sisters? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely one yeah. word, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would say from fairly early on. Yes. Like when definitely. we did our first our initial meeting, and mm -hmm. remember we both loved the, just the been lip so many and <laughs> instant connections and bonds and things that we've shared. And... and Big Sisters is here to help them get a leg up, to find somebody in their life who, who's the champion for them, who sits in the sidelines and says, yes, you can do it, and you're gonna do it great, and even if you screw up, that's okay too. If you're interested in volunteering or would like your child to have an older sibling, please check out the website below. My name is Maria Arias Rosso, here for Local Connection. That's an incredible story. It's neat to see the success of the Big Sister program in action. Absolutely, and as a teacher, my favorite part is their study buddy program. And what a better place to study than the new Surrey Centre Library, also in my hometown. I'm here in Surrey at the brand new state-of-the-art city centre library, where the chief librarian, Beth Barlow, takes us on a tour. Surrey has never had a central library before. We've always had small libraries in the different town centers. So this library is Surrey's largest. It will contain uh, the largest collection and a whole lot of spaces for people. So we're hoping that it will become a place that will really draw the citizens of Surrey and people from outside Surrey. With 77,000 square feet on four floors, the library is an amazing feat designed by award-winning architect Bing Tom well known for his Chan Center for the Performing Arts. We know that there was a recent poll in one of the local papers and this was voted, I think, one of the most serene places to be. 
they're here for lots of reasons. Some of them come in to study, some of them are here just to borrow materials. Um, some of them come in to sit and have coffee, read the newspaper, look at a magazine, use a computer, and just come in to enjoy the space. The library was also designed with young people in mind. We also have a teen lounge, a really nice sized teen lounge that's a lot of fun. It's a little bit funky. We have a diner bench in there so people can sit and chat and have their coffee. We've got some fun chairs for them to lounge around in. We have a digital screen so that they can do some gaming in there very easily. Designed with teens in mind and with some input from some of the local teens from the Kwantlen Park Secondary. The facility is state of the art including a high tech book sorting system. Now slide one into the slot and you'll see that it gives you a little message. It says wait, now slide another oh, one in. wow, this is, the machine knows where the book the is going to go. The machine knows go. where the book is going to go and, and which section. it knows which floor of the library that book oh. belongs on so it will drop it into the appropriate bin. And I'm done. You're all done that quickly. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. I'm easy. Oh yeah. <laughs> The city centre library is just the beginning of a much larger transformation of the city of Surrey. Well, right now we're in the middle of a construction site. The library is surrounded by a very large and getting larger hole that will be a three-level parkade underground. And on the north side of the library, the new city hall will be opening in about two years from now, in 2013. And on the, the other side of the library, on the east side of the library, there will be a big civic plaza. So the city's anticipating being able to use it for lots of public events with all of the, the dynamic things that are happening here and the growth of the city centre, it's creating a downtown. Surrey didn't have a downtown. The city centre library is sure to be an iconic feature of the new downtown of Surrey. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'm Dominique Armand for Local Connection. Thanks, Dominique. That library is really a world-class facility. I can't wait to see how the community plaza is going to look and the new city hall. It's going to change Surrey forever. Well, I also feel like I have been changed forever after my experience here at the spa. And don't go away because when we come back, we'll show you the goodbye ritual they have. And I'm hearing we may get to take something home. Also after the break, taking over the airwaves. Teens get a chance to call the shots and run the news for a day at Newsday in BC. I kind of tripped a little bit, but I think that's natural. Local Connection will be right back. I'm Bob Leonarduzzi. One in three Canadians knows someone with Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of dementia. Dementia is not a normal part of aging. Family and friends are impacted and live with the reality of this disease, which to date has no cure. Don't drop the ball on your friends because no one should be alone on the dementia journey. Support the Alzheimer's Society of BC in their search for the causes and cure for dementia. Welcome back to Local Connection. We're at the Calixica Holistic Spa Boutique on Granville Island and today has been so relaxing, so soothing. Absolutely, but you know what's not relaxing and soothing is life as a journalist. And up next, a group of teenagers audition for the chance to be news anchor for a day. Ever wanted to be a journalist? The CBC is giving students from grades 10 to 12 an opportunity to dive into the world of news. So Newsday in BC is a program from the CBC and the Vancouver Sun that gives local high school students the opportunity to take over the news agenda for one day and tell the stories that are most important to them in their own voices. Students always come up with amazing stories. There's been stories about um, uh, plastic surgery in teens, about addiction to video games. I mean, it runs the gamut. And what we find is that we're always surprised by the stories. And even stories that we've heard before, students always come up with a different way of telling them, a unique angle. And that's what we look forward to every year. With close to 300 applicants from across the Lower Mainland, there was a wide range of diverse stories from all walks of life. I'm picturing how gay rights have changed in Canada and throughout the country in the last decade or so. Um, I'm talking about the extent of re-editing and retouching in, um, in magazine images and, and how it really impacts the self-esteem in teenagers. 
Finally, it was showtime for students as they put on a brave face for CBC producers. Um, I am really excited about this opportunity to become a student reporter because I'm really, really interested in journalism as a career. The senior events that I've been looking forward to since grade 8, a lot of them have been cut. How did your parents or guardians react to your decision to enlist? Most students felt confident with their performance, despite a few hiccups here and there. The audition had a few faults, but um, I hope my passion really showed through and I really want to do this and I hope they saw it there and I think they did. I think I did great, so, and that's what matters. I mean, just believe in yourself. I was nervous about messing up and I kind of tripped a little bit, but I think that's natural and um, I hope I won't get too many uh, points docked for it. I think the rest of it went pretty well. Be sure to catch CBC Newsday on March 29th on CBC Television, CBC Radio 1 and the Vancouver Sun. I'm Miguel, signing out for Gen Y in Vancouver. Thank you, Miguel. And you can also go to the CBC website and see who made the top 30 and who will get the opportunity to tell their story. Absolutely. And we are joined one last time by Tia here. And Tia, I feel like I can stay here forever. Well, we would like you to stay here forever, but we need you to integrate back into your daily life, Darren. So we would like to offer a young living water and um, a bit of chocolate just to integrate back into your world. Thank you. Well, this day has been divine. You know, Absolutely. I can't think of a better way to treat myself. Nor can I. And we're wondering, you at home, how do you treat yourselves? And our reporter Dominique is on the street right now to find out. Thanks, guys. I sure would love to be where you are right now, but I'm on Granville Mall finding out how do you relax. I dance, I sing, I watch movies, I draw. I go swimming, I go to gym often, three times a week. Maybe to play soccer because I'm Brazilian. Run? Run? Walk? I just walk around. Yeah, especially when it's so nice like that, I just walk around. What do you do to relax? Hike. What do you do to relax? Uh, I listen to music like I do now. Coffee, people watch, listen to records. Cooking, salsa dancing. Uh, just hang out, watch movies. What about you? Yoga, shopping. I knit. I do go to church, sing in the choir, and pray. Yeah, prayer relaxes you. Time with your family. What do I do to relax? Sex. <laughs> what do you guys do to relax? We're on a date right now. Oh, we so don't have That's kids. what we do to relax. We need time to ourselves. Once every six months. <laughs> I do to relax. Oh, take walks, watch TV, read books. I don't know, I read a book. <laughs> yeah. You? Watch TV. Watch Days of Our Lives soap show. <laughs> Drink lots of wine. <laughs> Maybe get drunk, I don't know. I don't usually relax because I'm studying like 24 7. Well, I have a kid, so it's kind of hard to relax. Until next time, you never know, I might be talking to you. For Local Connection, I'm Dominique Armand. What do you do to relax? I walk my little grandson. Thanks, Dominique. Stephanie, look at us. We have managed to relax our way through an episode of Local Connection. I'd like to thank very much Renata and Tia here at the spa for giving us such an amazing experience. And we welcome your feedback. So if there's a story you'd like to see us do, please visit our Facebook site or check out our YouTube channel. And if you feel you're due for some rejuvenation, check out Calixica.com. For Local Connection, I'm Stephanie Weeb. And I'm Darren Storsley saying see you next time. Yeah. <sighs> Good night. Mm -hmm.